Good morning everyone. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to recalibrate the Falcon Wing door on my 2022 Tesla Model X. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel, Tesla Owner's Perspective. If you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. If you're returning, thank you. Everyone that's been giving me those thumbs up, thank you everyone subscribing, thank you as well. The channel's still growing, thanks to everyone that's continually subscribing. Um, so I had an idea for a video today. Uh, however, when I went out to the Model X, there was a warning on the screen stating that my Falcon Wing door needed to be recalibrated. I've never seen that warning on the car before. I did not know that the Model X needed to be the Model X Falcon Wing door on occasion would have, to, would have to be recalibrated. I don't know what would cause it, but I went to drop my daughter off at school and it would not open. Um, she had to wind up getting out of the uh, driver's side door. It's actually the rear passenger side Falcon Wing door that won't open. So I went on a few blogs. Uh, I actually went on Tesla's website ultimately and I found uh, what you're supposed to do when you need to recalibrate your Falcon Wing door. Again, I'm not sure what causes it, that's something I have to do a little more research on. But since I've never done this before, I figured it'd be a first for me. I may as well show you guys how it's done. So anyone that's getting a Model X in the future or any current owners that have a Model X that don't know how to recalibrate their Falcon Wing door, maybe you can use this video as a reference. So why don't we go out, I'll pull the uh, Model X out of the garage, we'll park it on the street. I'll show you what happens when I press the uh, door button from the exterior. And on the interior, you know, there's sort of a, an alert that you hear. And then I'll show you what the screen says. And after that, we'll go over what Tesla recommends we do to recalibrate the door. So let's go outside and see if we can figure this out together. All right, so I pulled the Model X out of the garage. And the passenger side Falcon Wing door is the door that will not open. It's the one that needs to be recalibrated. I'm gonna go press the door from the exterior so you can hear the tone it makes, the alert, and I'll go inside the car and I'll also try to open it up from the interior and you'll also hear the alert that comes up when you're trying to open it up when the door needs to be recalibrated. So here's the Falcon Wing door right here. I'm gonna press the button that I normally press to open the door. Hopefully you can hear that. It's like three beeps. We'll go inside the car and I'll do the same thing with the uh, button on the interior. Here's what normally would happen. Press it. And the door opens right up. So I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna slide in. Here's the button that my daughter would normally press to open and close the door when she's sitting here. So I'm going to press it and let's see, here's the up portion. So it's the same beep. So now what we'll do is I'm going to get in the uh, driver's seat. We're going to go onto the uh, user interface and we're going to follow the instructions that Tesla recommends to recalibrate that door. So let's jump in the front and see if we can do it on our own. Never did this before, first time for me. Hopefully this will help you guys out in the future. Let's see. All right, so I'm in the driver's seat of the Model X. Um, and according to Tesla, in order to recalibrate the doors, I have to go into the controls. So here's the, um, here's a little car for the controls. You open that up, here's all the settings. It says to go to service and then calibrate doors. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't know if, if there's going to be another pop-up for me to choose a door. This is the first time I do this. So let's see what happens when I hit calibrate doors. Hold button to close until calibration is complete. Please make sure there is sufficient clearance for doors to open and close during this calibration process. So I have the my rear door, uh, rear falcon wing door open right now. Maybe I should close that first. Uh, so let me go here, let me go to controls, let's close that door. You can see the cool animation. I'll close my door as well. 
you can see calibration required so let's do that again we'll go to service calibrate doors the same warning ready to calibrate let's calibrate Hold button to close door until calibration is complete. I guess I have to hold it down. And now that door is opening. And now it's closing. And it says calibration complete. Huh. Alright. Let's test it out and see if that actually worked. Alright, so... This is the door that just calibrated. Let's see what happens. Well, there we go. So I'm not sure if you're aware of this. I found this out through a tech. When you have your Model X parked for a certain amount of time and you pull, let's say like I just did, I pulled it out of the garage um, and I open up the falcon wing doors. The falcon wing doors will only open this wide um, automatically. I think it's a safety feature. So what happens is in order for it to open all the way up, you have to drive the car for 15 seconds. After you drive the car for 15 seconds, the doors will now open all the way up. This is according to the, the Tesla rep. But it seems to be working now. So let's try to close it. Yeah, seems to be working. Yesterday I tried using the key fob, it didn't work. So let's try it today. So here's the key fob, I'm gonna click here twice on the side, on the left hand side of the Tesla. That worked, let's close it. Use the fob again. All right. Well, that seemed to work. The calibration process was pretty easy. Um, you just go into the uh, user interface, you go to the settings, um, service, and then calibrate doors. You actually have to hold it down. Um, yeah, first time. Why don't we go back inside the house and we'll discuss it. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, pretty easy. Everything that Tesla said to do on their website worked. Go to the user interface, hit the little car, go to service, Scroll down to where it says calibrate doors. Don't forget you have to hold the button down. I made the mistake of just tapping it. It didn't calibrate. I held it down and it actually calibrated. The door maybe opened three inches perhaps from the bottom up and then that was it. It was calibrated. So hopefully you guys can use this video for reference. If your Model X, your future Model X, your current Model X ever has to have the Falcon Wing door calibrated, it's pretty simple to do. So there you have it. I was going to do a different video up until that happened, so I'm working on a video now. Hopefully, um, I'll knock it out before the end of the week. But again, anyone give me those, everyone giving me those thumbs up, greatly appreciate it. Everyone subscribing. Again, thank you guys so much. You're really making the channel grow. And again, I have an idea for another video. Hopefully, I'll knock it out this week and post it before the weekend. So hopefully, everyone's having a good week. And thanks for watching.